That's the neighborhood watch. It's the husky that watches me walk my two monsters. Uh, Snowflake's not actually mine. Snowflake lives across the street, but I walk with him because he's on a chain all the time and he goes a little crazy. So <laughs> I'm being pulled by the dogs right now. Uh, today, today was no training. Um, I'm off because tomorrow I'm fighting. Um, it will be my 200th fight altogether, which is very exciting. And it's karchuk, which is my favorite. It's the kind without any gloves. Um, you just wear the rope wraps and there's no points. You can only win or lose by KO. Um, so I'm very excited about that. I feel really good about it. Um, I'm slightly, I don't know if you'd even call it nervous. I'm slightly more uh, considerate of this fight uh, than I normally would be. Normally I feel just like completely free to go do my Kartchuk fights. Like it's my favorite because I feel really um, like uninhibited by the entire process. Uh, I feel slightly less that way about this one because it's my 200th fight um, and so there's kind of like more kind of build up real you know like for a reason <laughs> um, and I'm not worried about like my performance or anything like that but um, I think some people are going to be coming to see me and uh, it's just you know it's a it's a big achievement for me um, just having the fight so it really doesn't matter to me really how the fight goes it's just the fight itself is the accomplishment which is really exciting but um, people have been buying the t-shirts and the shorts. Uh, P-Boy and his wife have done monumental efforts in making these shorts because we thought we were going to sell maybe like 20. <laughs> We've got like over 100. So uh, it's it's been way more than what we were anticipating and it's actually really uh, moving to me and exciting that, that all these people are with me on this huge achievement. So um, thank you everyone who has bought the shorts and the shirt and everyone who is encouraging me uh, in this fight. It's all, it all gets to me and it's all very uh, inspirational to me. Um, so uh, we're going to leave tomorrow, I don't know, like kind of midday um, and then I'll have my fight and we'll be able to come back home and, and uh, have the rest of my birthday together, me and Kevin. But it's kind of cool also because Angie who uh, was the first ladyboy katoy trans fighter at um, Lumpany is fighting again tomorrow. So we're both fighting on the same day. Um, unfortunately, I can't go see her because of that. Um, but it, I don't know. It's very exciting that both of us coming out of this same gym um, are doing kind of these really big things because of what we're trying to accomplish for ourselves in Muay Thai and, and in that process they end up being kind of historical um, things rather than, sorry these dogs are driving me nuts. What are you guys doing? Um, so tomorrow, huge things happening, both me and Angie. That's very exciting. Um, I was really impressed that uh, Pinu knew that tomorrow is my 200th fight. Um, he's been telling people I have 200 fights for like a year. <laughs> so I didn't know that he knew that, uh, that this is actually my 200th fight tomorrow, so um, I don't know. People keep asking me what I'm going to do after the 200th fight. Um, I think because there's kind of this weird um, assumption that I'm retiring or something like that. No, uh, 201 is 10 days later and then I have a couple more fights already lined up for the month and, and going into December. Um, I'm still on this path of Muay Thai. Like I'm still discovering new things that are huge. Like it's not like um, oh, you know, I, there's kind of this thing that's a little bit different that I'm going to work on or I just want to get better or anything like this. It's like I, I work with my trainers um, and I go see these legends and they show me something and I'm like, this changes everything. <laughs> like a sled dog. <laughs> I'm like, this changes everything. Like uh, maybe like maybe a year ago, Chart Chai uh, showed me the weight transfer again. And I finally understood it after having not understood it for months and months prior to that. And then I worked with him again a couple weeks ago and it's, he's teaching me the same things, but I understand a different layer of it. And I'm like, oh my God, this is just as profound as that original weight transfer, but it's another layer of that weight transfer. And Karahat is also working with me on this transfer of weight, but it's very different from Chart Chai's. So it's like, how do you bring both of those together into your Moyen as a fighter to like, I don't know, 
you're not assembling things. You're just like working with things. Like it's this constant test kitchen. And then I'll feel the difference in, in my understanding of these things when I'm working with Pinu, because I work with them every day. So like to be able to feel a difference with someone that you spend so much time with. Um, and then, you know, when I'm sparring with my sparring partners and I'm changing the way that I kick, like trying to make it more narrow and not breaking my frame the way that Sagat was yelling at me about, I, I feel like I've just made these huge changes and I've only scratched the surface. So um, for people asking me what I'm going to do after 200, um, I'm going to focus like crazy more on just learning as much Muay Thai as I possibly can. And it's just so exciting still, all of these things. And, and fighting is the way that you kind of test those things and develop those things. And I just love doing it. So really, I have no intention of stopping. Um, and uh, so those numbers will keep going up. Um, and I'm focusing on the Muay Thai library, trying to go see more legends um, and kind of get this archive and library of these incredible men and their techniques because they all are so different um, and have so many amazing little gems in each of their sessions. Um, so I think that in, in going and working with some of these guys, it's become more apparent to me that there's a little bit more of a time limit on this um, than maybe I was aware of to begin with. Like a lot of these guys are not going to be training people 10 years from now. Um, and so getting this archived now, um, especially when they're still kind of, uh, you know, able-bodied and excited to be working with people, um, I think is, is super important. And then as the years go on, you know, getting them again so that I can archive more of their, of their technique and kind of have deeper layers of it to me is just really important. Um, and it's a project that kind of grew out of, um, my ability to travel around Thailand because of people supporting me to be able to go and fight. And so it was like making the most out of those uh, trips and, and being able to go see these different people. So things just keep evolving. So the idea that I even know what I'm going to be doing next is like, I don't know, but it's going to be fucking awesome. Like things just keep evolving in ways that I could not have anticipated. You know, I, w I have no idea that I would be training with legends like two years ago. Um, or making this archive or, or, you know, doing any of the things that I'm doing now. So what I'm going to do after 200, um, I'm not even entirely sure yet because stuff just keeps getting better. And, uh, I find that really exciting. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is the, the eve of my 200th fight. Um, and after it, I'm doing something that actually scares me a lot. It scares me a lot more than fighting does. Um, I'm going to go to a local monastery that's a meditation center, um, and you just stay in a little kuti, which is basically like a small hut, and they provide everything for you, and you kind of don't do anything. Like, you just work on this vasa meditation, and it's very self-taught, so it's not like lessons. Um, I meditate a little bit, <laughs> and uh, I've been, you know, kind of like learning about and, and investigating Buddhism in the years that I've been here and, and I know Buddhist people and have participated in Buddhist um, practices and traditions and ceremonies and things like this. Um, but this is a huge leap. Going on a three-day meditation retreat where I'm just by myself and just teaching myself Vasa for three days um, is really scary to me uh, because I don't mind being alone, but being alone in your brain for three days uh, is pretty terrifying, but I think that it's a very perfect moment to be doing it after my 200th fight because it's kind of a big monumental moment that then is going to just be, you know, moved into the next stage of what I'm doing. So kind of taking a moment to do something that's profound in a way different from, uh, you know, I fought this fight and now I'm done kind of thing. Um, so that's what I'm doing directly after my fight and, and I'm a little bit freaked out by that. So thank you everyone who's supporting me in this process. Um, I'll let you know how that three-day meditation goes after it happens. Um, but I'm excited. I'm happy. The dogs are ready to go home. <laughs> Chetty's eating grass. Um, so I'll talk to you guys soon. Um, I will be live streaming my fight tomorrow. So definitely, uh, if you know, you 
uh, want to see it, it will be on my Facebook page. Um, and yeah, thanks everyone. Let you see some of the pink sky. Jidi, you coming? Jidi, ma, Jidi, my love. Bad boy. Snowflake, you want to say hi? It's a good boy.